In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to replace missing values with zeros. So first, let's take a look at our table here. We're looking at monthly subcategory sales by year, and we can obviously identify a number of cells which have missing or blank values. And so our task is to actually replace these null cells with a zero. So in order to do that, we're going to use the ZN function. And the first thing we'll do is we'll create a calculated field. We're going to call this ZN. And let's first look up what the function actually does and see the syntax for it. So here on the right hand side, we can see that the function returns a zero for all the null values. Otherwise, it returns the original expression. So let's go ahead and follow the syntax, right? So here we're specifying our expression. In our case, we're looking at aggregated data because we're aggregating our information by subcategory. So we're going to say sum of sales and we're going to click OK. And then we'll drag in our newly calculated field on text. And as you can see, nothing has changed. Um, our values are still appearing blank and you may be wondering why this did not work. And the reason it did not work is because the ZN function performs a row level calculation. So if you have a row in your data source that has a measure with no entry, the ZN function will change it to a zero. But if there is no row in your data source that match your level of detail, which in our case, our level of detail is at the subcategory level, then that means that there is no row for the ZN function to actually operate on. So in order to fix this and make it work, we have to incorporate another function in our calculation. So let's go ahead and edit our original calculation. And now what we want to do is we want to incorporate the lookup function. So let's delete what we have here. We're going to include the lookup function. Then we're specifying our expression, which is the sum of sales. So let's take a look at what happens once we actually click OK. We should be able to see zeros in our text table. So now we can see that all of our missing data is showing up as a zero. So our calculation has worked. When you guys are working with this particular function, you need to remember that it only works with numeric fields. So if you have strings, dates, or Boolean data types, you need to be using other functions in order to replace the missing data. And some of the other functions include if null or is null. And I'll probably cover these additional functions in my other later tutorials. But that is it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.